Hi guys, welcome back. So today we are going to be doing a little haul. I went to the mall yesterday and picked up some stuff from Sephora and a ton of stuff from Zara. So I'm gonna do a little try on haul. I've never done one of those before. So we'll see if I like the stuff. Zara, you can't try anything on right now in stores. So you have to like bring it home and try it on. So this will be my first time trying this stuff on. I don't know what I was thinking when I was in there. I felt like I was shopping for vacation. I have no vacation in mind. I'm um, not going anywhere, so I don't know like what I was buying, but it's a lot of cute pink things. So if you like the color pink, I don't have a lot of pink in my wardrobe. I kind of just went crazy with it. So um, first, I'm going to show you guys what I got from Sephora. I picked up Benetint, which I have been wanting to try this for so long. This is like so old school that people have been using this for so long, but I used it today and I actually tried it yesterday when I had no makeup on and it's so good it is this little container right here I got the smaller one because I didn't even mean to but it has this tip to it like the sponge tip almost like a lip gloss they used to have and only make it in with the brush which I feel like the packaging was horrible so I'm so glad they did this I just did today two little spots right here and a little bit on my nose and it's so natural and pretty if you're not wanting to wear like a powder blush because sometimes powder blush can sit on top of your skin this is just like a tint and you can put it on your lips too i'm not gonna put it on my lips i'm like not into the red reddish lips my lips are already dark as is and i like them to be as nude and white as possible so yeah, that's not happening, but um, really, really nice color. I just feel like it's really natural looking. Like it looks like you were in the sun and it's really pretty. So I love this. I actually liked everything I got, which I feel like never happens from Sephora. I'm so picky with makeup and skin products that I feel like there's always a few things where I'm like, Ugh, I have to return it, but I'm not returning anything. So I'm keeping this, the Benetton. Try that. Um, I believe it was only 20 bucks too, so super inexpensive. Next thing I got was the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I got it in the color Soft Brown. I don't know how to do my eyebrows. They're really hard for me to do. I think because I've just never felt like I had to. This is basically my eyebrows, like with nothing in them. What I did, what I tried to do today was kind of straighten out right here and then like fill in a hole I had in my arch. But I got the Soft Brown and I really, really like it because it's very thin strokes. Um, and what I've been doing with my eyebrows is I feel like I've always tried a pencil that's way too dark. It's always better to do one with, to do a pencil that is a little bit lighter than your actual eyebrows. So I got the Soft Brown just so I could like really learn and teach myself how to do it finer strokes with not such a heavy hand. Um, but I really liked it and I love the spoolie at the end of it. And then the next product I got was from Bobbi Brown. This is one of the minis that comes um, like by the front when you're by the register because I believe the full size one, I think it's like 68 bucks. This was cheap. This is the Vitamin Enriched Face Base, which I'm super excited to get. I've been wanting to try this. And it is basically just a base that you put on before your makeup. Um, I've talked to you guys about it before, but I've been wanting to try a primer. And I'm just, like, scared because I don't wear foundation. Like, today I don't have any foundation on. I actually just have concealer. And then I concealed with my finger, like, little spots I had around my face. Um, but I just wanted something maybe that was, like, an extra step beyond moisturizing before my makeup and this is so bomb so I put it on today it's not it's a little tacky but it's not like super I feel like with certain primers like I've tried the um professional from Benefit a long time ago and it was very I think that was silicone based it was very like putty like and really made my face feel dry before putting on my makeup this makes your face feel super moisturized before you put it on and I love Bobbi Brown scents They're, it's very clean it's very almost like a lemony scent um so it is the vitamin enriched face base I really liked it it did not feel heavy on my face um I've read really good reviews on it. I don't think it's gonna break me out but I used it today for the first time and I really really liked it so I got that and then this I actually used last night. This is another mini product that I got by the register. They have full sizes of all these products. Um, so Benetton, it comes in a bigger size and the Bobbi Brown comes in a bigger size too. I was like, I'm just going to try it, see if I like it. And then I can buy it when the sale comes up. And actually the sale, I believe, 
There is the spring savings event for Sephora. Um, it is from April 9th to April 19th. So 10 days and if you are the Rouge, you get 20% off, VIB 15% off, Insider 10% off. So this is a good time to try like little products like this, like this, not the samples, but the smaller size. And then when the um, Beauty Insider event comes around in the beginning of April, then you could buy it the full size. That's probably what I'm going to do. Um, so last night I tried the Kate Somerville Exfolicate on the internet and you search it like I think Sephora has almost 2,000 I think the actual website has like 3,000 five-star reviews like this has been around for a really long time And it's basically an intensive exfoliating treatment that you can use like twice a week I've been feeling like my skin is very dull lately and just congested and I like don't know what to do because I usually get facials every month I haven't gotten a facial since November. I think this whole entire pandemic, I've only gotten two facials. Now that I think about it, in over a year, I think I've only gotten two facials. And I'm used to going basically every month just because it's so, my skin really, really needs it. It really needs to be like, the congestion needs to be relieved. And I feel like I have been lacking in the exfoliation department and my skin has just been feeling like trash and just dry and dull and just gross. So I tried this last night. Um, really, really liked it. I didn't see anything like a crazy difference this morning. I definitely felt like my skin had like a glow to it. I'm going to try it one more time and see how I feel about it. But trying it one time and just using a little bit, you basically just use it after you have a clean, um, damp face. So after I wash my face, I put this on. I left it on. It says you could leave it on for two minutes. I probably left it on for like five minutes. It does tingle a little bit. And it's almost like a light green when it comes out. The smell is interesting. Um, on Sephora, one of the reviews said, someone said that it smelled like Hobby Lobby, like it smelled like a craft store. I feel like it's pretty spot on. So the smell isn't like crazy good or anything, but I think it does do a really good job of exfoliating your face. So if you're looking for like a little mask to do, like a quick one um, that is super exfoliating, then try this. It says Hollywood's Two Minute Facial. So I think it's really good. Um, so I probably will be buying the big, um, why am I out of breath right now? I will be buying the bigger one when the um, spring savings event happens. So that is the beginning of April, the 9th to the 19th. So mark that in your calendars because that's like the best time to get expensive products and just any products from Sephora, but especially expensive products that like the Dr. Dennis Gross pads that I always talk about, the Alpha Beta Peel pads, um, like a perfume or the exfoliate. I know this is like $88 in the big bottle originally, so that would be like a great time to buy that. So that is what I picked up from Sephora yesterday. I've never done a try on haul, so this will be my first one, but I am going to basically just show you guys what I got and then I'm going to try it on. So the first product I got is this midi dress, which I... My jam in the spring and summer is fitted midi dresses. Like they're just so easy to put on. Midi dresses, I feel like too, are so versatile. You could wear them with sandals during the day. You can dress them up with heels during the night. You could throw something over it. So I got this midi dress, which I know that it's been around for a while. It's I've seen it a ton. Um, it comes in basic colors too, like black, white. They had a really pretty sage, but they didn't have any sizes left. And it's this little midi dress right here. I just love the pink shade that it's in. Um, I'm picky with pink. I feel like I either like blush pink or I like this shade or like a bubblegum pink. I don't like like the deep hot pink on my skin tone personally, but it's this dress right here. It has a seam down the back, which I love. I feel like that's so um, important with dresses to have a seam down the back. It just makes it more flattering. And then there's a little slip. I got this in a size small and this dress is $19.90. So I'll try this on. It's definitely something where you cannot wear underwear. If you are gonna wear something, I would recommend wearing like Spanx or something. But this is what the midi dress looks like online. I got a small and it is $19.90 but it's cute from the back. The next product I was so excited about. So this came in multiple colors, but it is this little Terry outfit. So it's Terry cloth. This is the top, giving me like Juicy Couture vibes. I was used to be obsessed with Juicy Couture. That was my spot. 
I lived for their jump their jumpsuits, their sweatsuits. Like my mom and I would wear them and she she had like the ones with the pockets. I had ones with the pockets. We had terry cloth. Like they were just so in. And I feel like terry cloth is coming back. Um Kim Kardashian came out with or is coming out with i saw her little sneak peek of like a terry line and i feel like it'll be really in this summer so i'm like i'm just gonna get this little two-piece set i feel like it's a good little dive into the terry cloth but these are the matching shorts so cute i feel like this is gonna be so cute with like a little pair of slip-on sandals and maybe like a little white thin button up over it or just by itself but I think this is going to be so cute, especially if you're going on vacation or something. All these outfits, I'm like, you would think I'd be going on vacation, but I'm not. I'm not going on vacation. So hopefully, I really, really, really want to go somewhere tropical soon. I have not been somewhere tropical since I was 17 on my senior trip. So I like really have been like craving going to the beach. So hopefully all these outfits are like so for that. So hopefully I'll be going. I'm gonna manifest that in this video. So when I look back and I do like a vacation video, I manifested it, okay? I'm thinking I might wanna grab a medium in this just so this is not so tight, but I think the shorts are a good size. This is really cute. I will be keeping this. And then let's go on to the Terry dress. I got this little dress right here, which I'm curious to see what it's gonna look like on. I have never worn Terry cloth. Like, besides when I would wear juicy outfits, I've never worn anything else terry cloth. I've never worn anything, f like, super fitted terry cloth. So it's this little dress right here. It's like a nudish tan color. The undertones of it are a little olive -y to me, though. Um, so this will be interesting to try on. I'm excited to see what it looks like on. This is the terry cloth dress. This is for sure my favorite item I've got besides that little two-piece set I just had on. This fits, this Terry fits so much better than that other pink midi dress. This is something where also I wouldn't recommend wearing underwear, but this is so much more stretchy than the first midi dress I tried on. And I really like this color. I was not sure how I was gonna feel about the color, but I feel like it's a really pretty nude. And let me step a little bit farther back. It's a really good length too. Um, it's above the knee and it's just really stretchy. I like this band. Um, um, so I feel like this is gonna be so cute with a bathing suit underneath it. Like just leaving it open, kind of like an oversized little button up shirt, but I just loved the color pink. Um, I saw this in Asia Noree's. I don't know if you guys follow her on YouTube, you need to, but I saw this in her last weekly vlog and I had to get it. Um, I got it in a size medium, so it was like a little bit more oversized. The t-shirt I showed you guys with a bathing suit over the top super cute i feel like it's a really good length for a bathing suit um i am going to be keeping this i feel like the color is really cute i just have it on with this nude bathing suit right here this is super old it's from the um, brand acai um but i am going to be keeping this i feel like it's really cute with a bathing suit um if you had some like little pink shoes or a pink bag to go over the top i feel like this is a look this jacket right here i'm really excited about it. i feel like it's something that i wouldn't usually pick up but i've been needing a jacket that's not i'm just so picky with winter clothes like i'm not a winter clothes person i definitely love spring and summer clothes so when it comes to winter clothes i have trouble finding like jackets that i genuinely like and genuinely like how they fit or just winter clothes in general like i'm not a big sweater person i love spring and summer clothes i love dresses I love shorts, I love like sleeveless tops. So I was really excited to get this because I feel like I've seen it really cute on a lot of outfits um, online and I know it came in a tan color before, but I ordered this in a extra small and a small because I was waiting for it to come back in stock and I ended up keeping the extra small, but don't mind my sweat. This is gonna be really cute with like a bodysuit or any type of top underneath it and jeans. Um, and I just really like the fit of it. Like it's very flattering. It's very in right now. It's so hard to find these like cropped bomber jackets in stock anywhere right now. I feel like I've just been looking everywhere. Um, and I feel like the fact that it's that like pleather <laughs> um, makes it a little bit different than your usual. By the way, I need a haircut so bad. Look at how raggedy my hair is at the bottom. It's sick. 
It's disgusting. Um, but yeah, so I got this online. And that was it for my um, little haul try on video. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to be keeping everything except for the first dress I had on. I don't know. What do you guys think?